Hi, I'm Bob Clark and I'm running for Congress on November 2nd. This video is meant to be a quick introduction of me and contains a list of things that I believe in. But I also invite you to look over my website, bobclarkforcongress.com, for more information. I'm running as an independent candidate to become the U.S. Representative of the 5th District of Massachusetts. I'm not running as a Democrat or Republican because I don't want to represent a party. I want to represent the people of the 5th District and the people of this country. If you're curious whether you live in the 5th District, it spans from Berlin in the southwest up along 495 to Haverhill in the northeast, and it contains many communities in between. For a detailed map of District 5, go to my website and click on the district map. I'm a believer in the Constitution. Yes, that old document with the funny letters that you studied in high school. I don't believe it's outdated. I don't believe it's obsolete. In fact, whenever a congressman is elected or re-elected, he or she must take one oath and one oath only, and that is to uphold the Constitution. The Constitution is the plan for how our government should work. It describes limitations on what the government can do. It explains that the people should have more power than the government. And it explains why our government is here in the first place, to protect the rights of the people. If this doesn't sound like the government that we have right now, that's because the people in government have strayed from the original design. They keep giving themselves more power and taking rights away from the people. And they always tell us, this is for your own good. As congressman, this is something I plan to set right. To work at reducing the size and power of the federal government and to restore the rights of the people. I believe in the free market. I know, some say that the free market is to blame for the economic mess this country is going through right now. But that was not the free market. That was something called crony capitalism, where the government and certain businesses help each other out for their benefit. I'm talking about a real free market where there's no government interference or favoritism, where the laws of supply and demand control prices and wages, where contracts and the rule of law are honored, and where fraud and corruption are prosecuted. I'd like to ask you a question. What is government? Is it the collection of states? Is it the official looking buildings? Is it those guys that meet in Washington and pass laws and give speeches? Well, it's none of the above. The government is you and me. We the people. It's our job to make sure government does what it's supposed to do. If I could leave you with one thought from this video, it would be, don't give candidates a free ride to Washington. Before you cast your vote, ask the tough questions and demand answers. Ask yourself, how well does that person understand the problems? Has he or she proposed solutions? And if so, how credible are those solutions? And finally, I ask you to vote for candidates based on their individual beliefs, not on which party they happen to belong to. Do everything you can to make sure you're convinced that they will represent you, and then cast your vote. I invite you to view my other videos where I discuss my positions on specific issues in more depth. Until then, thank you for watching.